Chest infections, like colds and coughs, are common. Medication or any other type of medical intervention is not required to treat chest mucus. In this video, we're going to cover some of the best natural home treatments that can help clear up your lungs and make breathing easier. So, if you're ready, let's get into it. Number 1. Steam Inhalation. Steam can help you clear mucus and lower the severity of a chest infection. Inhale deeply the steam generated by a vaporizer or several glasses of boiling water. Number 2. Eucalyptus, Nilgiri Oil. Because of its antibacterial and antifungal qualities, eucalyptus, nilgiri oil, is a good therapy for treating chest infections. In a bowl of heating water, drop a few drops of eucalyptus essential oil. Lean over it and breathe deeply for several minutes. Number 3. Thyme Juice. Thyme is a natural expectorant that acts as an antiseptic and aids in the removal of mucus and helps to fight respiratory infections. It can also be used to treat coughs and nasal congestion. Make it into a tea. Place a teaspoon of thyme in boiling water for 10 minutes and then strain. Number 4. Garlic. Garlic can help you get rid of a bacterial chest infection faster. It can be added to tea, eaten raw, or utilized in food preparations. To make garlic tea, boil one cup of water with a teaspoon of freshly grated garlic. Number 5. Garlic, lemon and honey. Chest infections can be treated with a mixture of garlic, lemon, and honey. Crush three cloves of garlic, add two spoons of lemon juice and honey. Consume the mixture three to four times a day. Number 6. Ginger and honey. Grate half a teaspoon of ginger and squeeze half a teaspoon of its juice. Combine it with a teaspoon of honey to make a syrup of the two natural ingredients. You can get rid of a chest infection by taking the syrup three times a day. Number 7. Milk, turmeric powder, black pepper powder and honey. Take one glass hot milk. Add half teaspoon of turmeric powder, a pinch of black pepper powder, one spoon of honey to the milk. Drink the milk hot, at least twice a day to get relief from a chest infection. Number 8. Plantain juice. Plantain juice is like a herbal antibiotic that treats the infection. Moreover, the juice also acts as an expectorant on the lungs to get rid of the mucus from them and ease the cough. Number 9. Mustard plaster. A mustard plaster, or mustard pack, is a home remedy believed to ease symptoms of respiratory conditions. It's mainly used for coughing and congestion. To make a mustard plaster, you'll need the following ingredients. Dry mustard powder. Flour. Water. Two squares of fabric about 6 by 6 inches each. Here's how to make it. 1. In a small bowl, combine 1 tablespoon each mustard powder and flour. Mix well. 2. Add enough water until the mixture forms a thick paste. 3. Spread the paste onto one fabric square. Put the second square on top. 4. Place the plaster on your chest or the affected area. Avoid areas with open cuts, wounds, or sores. 5. Remove the plaster after 15 minutes. 6. Wash your hands with soap and water before touching your face or eyes. It's critical to remove the mustard plaster after 15 minutes. If you leave it on for too long, the ingredients can irritate your skin. If you don't have the time or ingredients to make one, here's where you can buy pre-made mustard plasters. Health markets. Some pharmacies. Online. Number 10. Stay hydrated. Water makes up more than 70% of the human body, so it's critical to be hydrated at all times, especially if you have a chest infection. The mucus and secretions in the lungs thicken as a result of dehydration. It'll be more difficult to get them to cough up for removal as a result of this. Furthermore, the majority of chest infections occur throughout the winter, which also happens to be the dry season. This implies that your body has to work overtime to maintain optimal water levels. Drinking at least 3 liters of water per day can help the body acquire the nutrients it requires. The natural remedies we discussed in this video may help to alleviate the symptoms of a chest infection. As a result, make sure to consult your doctor for the best medical advice for your unique circumstances. 
Aside from these treatments, preventative actions such as not smoking and maintaining good personal cleanliness are also important. If you do have a chest infection, keeping your distance from your family, friends, and others in your community or workplace is critical to preventing the infection from spreading. Thank you very much for sticking with me all the way to the end, and have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe to get updates on new videos.